guys welcome to another video today i'm gonna show you how you can transfer file from your 3ds to your phone or from your phone to your 3ds so make sure to like and subscribe to this channel and press the notification button so let's get started so to transfer file from your 3ds to your phone or from your phone to your 3ds you have to have this app called es5 this app right here you have to have this file to transfer file from your 3ds to your phone okay so when you're connected to your 3ds you can easily transfer games to your 3ds without removing your sd card so that's really important in, in order to not destroy your 3ds or destroy any screw on it yeah so i'm gonna show you how to do that so we're gonna enter in PS5 <clears throat> so we're gonna enter in PS5 mm -hmm. so we're gonna press right top here so we're gonna go to network right here we're gonna press FTP so I didn't press that so we're gonna press FTP so we're gonna leave this down there we're gonna go to new so it's gonna pop up this page it's gonna bring this page so you're gonna press the first one you can press the first one this one ftp so right here is asking for your server for your username your password so i'm gonna show you guys how to enter in so you're gonna go to your 3ds you're gonna go to there's an app called um there's an app called ftpd this one right here so you're gonna type so it's a home profile so so you're gonna type in these numbers up here so i'm gonna type in those numbers right now so i'm gonna type in those numbers right now so i'm gonna type in So for this part number you're gonna just leave it like that. So the username, the username you're gonna put in is the username of your Wi-Fi and how they're using on your on your 3ds and in the same time using on your phone. So I'm gonna put in my username. So I'm using right now suddenly. I'm just gonna type in suddenly. Now for the password is the same thing. You're gonna type in the password of your Wi-Fi in the house. So I'm gonna type in. I'm not gonna show you these guys. So I'm gonna type in my password. So guys I'm back so I've already typed in my password so I don't think there's still anything to do so the, uh, this last one is just gonna leave it like that so as you can see I'm gonna connect my, uh, my phone to, to, the, uh, to my 3ds so I'm gonna just uh, type in 
okay so as you can see guys it have connected to my 3ds so i'm gonna press okay as you can see it have typing it have connected to my 3ds so i need to have uh, it, i need it have created a file right here i'm gonna type in on the file so these are all the files uh, that are in my 3ds right now so I can easily access the file on my 3ds right on my phone so if I want to enter in one file just look what it's going to do on the 3ds so I'm going to enter in the MBI so as you can see guys as you can see what it's doing on the 3ds right now so right guys so this is just what I was just trying to show you how you can find the 3ds to your phone and, and to easily transfer a game to your 3ds without removing your SD card that's really important to know um, to know when your screws or to not break the core of your 3ds so that's really what i was trying to show you guys so see you in my next video don't don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and press the notification button for more videos like this so See you next time. Peace. No hey you like my shots but all of I heard ah. Yeah hit the club and someone fired up on the lurda. So many damn it I don't think